Hi, welcome back. I'm Broward County Commissioner Stacy Ritter here with Kent George, our Aviation Director, who, by the way, is the 2012 Airport Director of the Year for Large Medium Airports from the Airport Revenue News. So, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, come That's on. It. <laughs> it's nice. It's, yes. it, it's nice to be recognized for your work. I have very good staff that takes care of things. Well, we have a great Aviation Director. Yeah, thank you. I'm delighted you're here. Uh, so, we were talking about the terminals. Mm -hmm. You were talking about Terminal 4, which, uh, but you know, I've lived here since 1974. Yes. When I first moved to Broward County, the airport was really tiny, and you could basically drive up your car, park it, and you walked through a very small terminal to the plane. Obviously, it's not 1974 anymore, but um, some of the terminals, Terminal 2, for example, still looks like it's 1974. It's older, it's smaller. Um, how are we, and you know, you look at newer airports where there's one major hub where you go, Orlando for example, everybody goes to the same place and then you take a train, I know that's not where we are headed, but what are your plans to renovate or refurbish the different terminals? Let's, you started with four, which will become... I'll go backwards. Okay. okay. Now, terminal four had to be changed because of the runway and the way the runway sat with the... Um, the uh, terminal and its and its uh, proximity, and we were going to lose two to four gates on the end. We were talk. The board was talking even before I got here six and a half years ago, mm -hmm. as to what are we going to do. So we have this lineal design terminal. The western section will open up about this time next year. The eastern section we're going to bid and we're going to bring to you in in June which will include the center and the eastern section. And that's going to be all new. And when we bring the next quarterly update, which will be in, I think, the first or second meeting in February, we're going to have an animation of what it's going to look like inside. So you'll be able to see that. And it will be on our web site. So anybody can... Uh, which is Broward.org. Yes. With a link or right. www.fll.net. And you could also follow the airport on Twitter. Right? Yes, yes. What's your we Twitter do that. handle? I don't know. I don't mind. I, I guess it's fl FLL Flyer, I think is what I it think is. it is. FLL uh, Flyer. Greg knows that stuff. I don't know that. <laughs> well, I follow you guys. So. <laughs> so then we go to terminals three, two, and one. What a lot of people don't realize, our most modern terminal was open in 2000, which is one. Mm -hmm. Terminals two, three, and four were no opened in 1985. Wow. Please understand, that's all pre-9-11. Right. All of it, even Which, one. everything changed. The whole concept of how you fly changed. Mm -hmm. And we've been band-aiding it for a length of time, and we sat down with the airlines, and we all said, this isn't going to work. We either got to get rid of everything or go and, and run it. And so the, the, the airlines went along and the board approved us, the commission approved us doing a, two terminals, one, two, and three, a little over around 300, 400 million dollars worth of renovations. Again, no general revenue. That's exactly right. Terminal four is a brand new terminal at 450 million dollars. But you have to realize that in with that, and, and if you remember one of the presentations we did, there's 17 phases of working the ramp because we're building a terminal while we're running an international right. terminal, while we're running all those flights every single day and we have to rebuild the entire ramp. Because right now, the ramp flows towards the runway. It's got to go the other way. Mm -hmm. and so. We're redoing that, and as we said, we've got, you know, that's a rebuilding the entire ramp. So when you put the whole thing together, the terminal, the ramp, and everything, that's about $450 million. Um, You're going to, um, three and four connected. Yes, and I was just going which to there. Which takes four from 14 gates, where it's now nine, to 14, and then adds in three. And three are 10 gates on E and 10 gates on F. So we're going to have a 34 gate unit terminal that is being used by both Spirit and more 
recently, JetBlue, mm -hmm. which announced that they're going over over 100 flights a day by the year 2017 when it's open. And um, Terminal 1, so which is the newest one. We'll slip over to 2, mm -hmm. and that's where Delta and, right. and, and Air Canada and so forth are. That's going to be completely redone with a new security checkpoint. The checkpoint on the uh, F concourse is already done on 3, and the E concourse will be done in June, and then you're going to have a center uh, exit, and Las Olas Boulevard in between is going to all be post-security. That's the sh uh, food, shopping. Food, shopping, and so forth. It's called Las Olas Boulevard. And then we go to 1, and 1 is going to be bumped out in the middle with 70,000 square feet new. The security checkpoints that are on both terminals, uh, concourses B and C are going to be moved up to the center, going to be in the center, and then you can go out to B and C, and the new concourse A that Southwest is building that is going to then provide them access to Central South America, the Caribbean, with their international move, and we're going to then have about 64 gates available, and we can go to about uh, 31 to 33 million total passengers where we're at 23 to 24 right now. And those are all tourists. Well, most of them are tourists bringing their money here yes. to spend. But the other thing that is that the commissioners have said we've got to have better services, better choices, better food. We have approved terminals one and two for HMS host that has a plethora of offerings, and we're going to have that on. That's on our website also. And then so you three, can see what new food choices will be available at that Starbucks channel. all the way through. Um, three and four, Rocco's Tacos, I can give some of the others. Three and four, uh, which is HMSOs, has the first food network no, in the three country. three and four. Uh, three and four or are Delaware, Delaware North. North, excuse me, that's it. And they have uh, the food network, which is the first one in the country. Mm -hmm. We have a new food court that's opened, uh, the Jack Nicholas, first Jack Nicholas food um, offering in the country is going to be in in uh, three. Uh, all these things are going to be all new with offerings all the way through the PGA store. Um, I can't think of all of them it's, off the top of my. But they are, on, but they are on the web. Yes, and they, um, they are going to be on the web. They're mm -hmm. not quite there yet. Okay. We're getting ready to put them on, and. What it does, and the economic end of it, is that we have taken in three, for example, where we brought in the Food Network, the sales per plane passenger for food went from about $4.25 to over $7 per plane passenger. The demand's there. Mm -hmm. We weren't meeting the demand. Right. We are meeting the demand now, oh, it's and we're coming there. Vastly it's, improved. It's just night and day. Yes, it is. Night and thanks and to you. No. Thanks to thanks you. Thanks to and your vision the, for FLL, um, really. And you can't do these unless the commission says that, yes. Yes, well, but you know, um, <laughs> it took us a while to get there. You were, I think, there before we were. But um, I want to thank you. Thank you again for being here this morning. Don't forget, you can uh, contact us uh, on the Broward.org website. I'm at I'm sreader at Broward.org and. You can follow me on Twitter at Stacy Ritter as well. Um, if you haven't been out to the airport lately, take a look at what's going on out there. I know it's a little inconvenient for people right now, but I still get, no matter how much construction is going on there, everybody tells me how much easier it is to get in and out of our airport than Miami. And, and we want to keep it that way. And that's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say is, if you've noticed in my reports to you all, it is not going to change. It's going to get better. We've done, the commission made sure that we have the whole airside done, which is the new runway. They've now worked on the land side, which is the terminal complex and so forth. Now we're going to do the roadways. And the roadways, um, we've got some really interesting things we're going to be bringing to you on how we're going to improve that to make it easier to get in and out of here, especially during those busy uh, times at our peak uh, Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, and also over the cruise season. But the interesting thing is that um, this can all be done in the footprint we have and the people don't leave, lose the connection to be able to drive up to the front, 
drop somebody off and go right in the parking right. lot. Which is great. And let's not also forget that all this is happening while you're running an airport. Yeah, well, you're not building from scratch. <laughs> that doesn't make, right. doesn't make it easier. Um, it makes it harder it and does. costs a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So be patient. And when it's all done, it'll be, it is amazing. When it's all done, it'll be even more amazing. So thanks yes. again. Thank you. We'll be back with another edition sooner than you think. <laughs> Have a good day.